I'm Dr. Edna Barenbaum. I am in the psychology department here at Cabrini College. Uh, I have been in, in, in the department for approximately 25 years uh, and have had the opportunity, I would say, a, a very wonderful opportunity to help in conducting research in Swaziland. I had the extreme, the wonderful opportunity uh, two years ago to be able to uh, join Sister Barbara and Sister Diane uh, in Swaziland and they had asked me to develop a happiness scale for the children. I spent a good deal of time um, really just trekking around to homesteads with a translator and a driver when I would interview the children and I also went to the schools and I worked with the children in the schools uh, in the process developing the scale to see how children feel about themselves. At the same time, I also developed another scale, which I had the caretakers, people who were taking care of the children, and I had them also, I had them also rate the children uh, and see if the children reported the same levels of well-being as caretakers or if they saw something that was different. I was made aware that the 2014 uh, AIDS conference, which is held every two years, was going to be in Melbourne, Australia. I was fortunate enough to um, be able to work with Sister Barbara and in, from Swaziland and we co-presented a paper at the Interfaith Conference. It wasn't a paper, it was a discussion actually. And it was a discussion of the partnership of Cabrini College, Cabrini uh, Mission in Swaziland and Cabrini Australia. So we all came from different perspectives and we brought our information together. With such a large um, conference, AIDS 2014, there were approximately 15,000 delegates that arrived in Melbourne. Melbourne welcomed us in a very joyous way, but at the same time it was a very sad time because of the um, airplane that had gone down also just before the conference started with delegates that were supposed to be presenting at that time. What I walked away from the conference was a sense of hope um, and that there's a lot of work to do still. So um, we're beginning a new uh, era and I have a colleague here in the psychology department Dr. Tamara Smith, who is also joining me in collecting, and she's doing the data analysis for me. And um, I will be going back to Swaziland in September again, and I'm going to be collecting more data. The children that live on the mission actually um, report less depression and less anxiety than the children living in the homestead settings. So once we have that data, what do we do with that data? Well, then we develop programs, and what we're looking toward are developing programs for parenting, for people who are in homesteads, uh, making sure that we are developing uh, good attachments for the children living on the mission. Edna Barenbaum on location for location. Thank you very much.